it's all fun for us and very rewarding. Well, the Rehab Rescue Center has been going for, oh gosh, probably about 30 years at the Vancouver Aquarium. We basically go out and rescue abandoned animals. That's our, our mandate. Most of them end up being harbor seals. We get anywhere between 70 and 100 abandoned baby harbor seals per year. Tanu is actually a prime example of the success of our, our rehab program. Tanu was a, sort of a multifaceted effort because she was found off the coast of Alaska, actually off Sitka, uh, fell out in a boat, found her, and she was taken to the Sea Life Center in Seward, Alaska. And they did the initial work for two or three weeks, and then uh, a couple of our staff went up for several weeks to learn the ins and outs and exactly how to handle her and brought her back here. You actually form a tremendous bond with them, and it's one of the reasons why it's almost impossible to release uh, a rehabilitated sea otter back into the wild because the process of rescuing and rehab is so intensely bonding that half the time they're not even sure they're really a sea otter after it's all over and in fact we often have to teach them to be a sea otter. We would probably with our volunteers have about uh, about 20 people working there. We have a tremendous volunteer corps both throughout the aquarium and in particular at the rehab center and over the years they tend to stay with us so they get more and more skilled in the actual techniques of, of rescuing and feeding and rehabbing these animals. As soon as you start getting used to the fact they're all harbor seals, all of a sudden we'll get a phone call and say, we have a harbor porpoise up in Prince Rupert. And then a couple of us hop in a, hop in a plane and head up there and luckily now we can utilize the kit that's been supplied by the foundation to take all our equipment, including pools, up there. So we're, uh, we're very portable. Previously, if we needed to take x-rays or do surgery or any one of a number of diagnostic procedures, the problem was we'd always have to put the animal back in a truck, take it somewhere else after it's already been stressed, and do the procedure there. Now, with all the new equipment, we can lessen the stress on the animals and do things right away rather than delay. For so many years, we just cobbled things together and, uh, and just managed to, to, to save these animals. Um, and now, with the proper equipment, we're going to be able to do a real good scientific study. And uh, having said that, it, it, it is going to be able to be a scientific study because we can now do the lab work on site, we can do the x-rays on site, and so not only can we save some of these or more of these animals, but we can also learn more about them. This is a uh, device that's designed to, uh, to cut line. One can reach down with a pole into the water and cut line that may be entangling a whale. The Vancouver uh, Foundation provided a grant to the aquarium uh, about uh, two years ago now, I guess, um, and uh, it, it, to uh, purchase and equip ourselves with equipment for disentangling uh, whales and dolphins that become wound up in fishing gear. Uh, it's not terribly common fortunately, um, but when it does happen, it's quite, a, it's quite a, uh, a, a big incident, as you can imagine. For a long time, it was thought that these incidents were very rare on our coast. Now, in the last couple of years, we've been hearing about them more and more. We don't know if that's because they're occurring more and more, or if people are more willing and interested to t in talking about them. This is kind of a nifty little device that's um, a snap hook for uh, connecting onto gear. And you can imagine this is tied to a rope. This part's connected to a pole, and once you've got the hook around the um, the gear, you can pull the pole free and you're left with a, with a, with a shackle. Well, it's a step up from nothing to something quite sophisticated. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, with these sorts of things, there are two, you know, there are two real components. You need, the, you need the equipment, and that's what the uh, Vancouver Foundation's provided for us, very generously. And the other thing is that we need the training, and the, and the training will be coming in the next month or so.